Imagine a customer comes into your shop with an Audi A6 Hybrid. The complaint is that the car is driving poorly. You test drive the vehicle together with the customer and this feels like something you've experienced before. It feels like a misfire under load. You head back to the workshop, you hook up your scan tool and you're quite surprised to see there are no fault codes stored in the entire vehicle. There's not much you can do right now, so the customer books in an appointment to get the problem fixed. When the car comes in for a diagnosis, you test drive the vehicle again and it definitely feels like a misfire. You've got no fault code stored, so you decide to change the spark plugs and the ignition coils. You test drive the vehicle again, but unfortunately, there is no change. The misfires are still there. You inspect the intake valves with a camera, but the amount of carbon buildup over there isn't actually that bad. It looks pretty good. Then you decide to remove the injectors. You've got no lead where the misfire is coming from, so you send off the injectors to get them tested, only to find out there's nothing wrong with those injectors. At this point, you are pretty puzzled, so you decide to put everything back together and take the car for another test drive. During this test drive, you notice that the symptoms appear to get worse when you drive the car in EV mode, so when you drive the car on the electric motor. Maybe the misfires aren't coming from the combustion engine at all. Maybe there's something wrong with the electric motor. At this point, you start to focus at the electric motor. You dust off all your fancy tools and finally the time has come to put them to use. So you do your milliohm test, you do your insulation tests, and you're really hoping for a breakthrough. But unfortunately, all your measurements are exactly within spec. At this point, the workshop decided to reach out to our help desk. And we have seen this before. We even made a bulletin for it. Now, although this workshop is subscribed to DDTSB, he failed to find our bulletin. Why? Because he searched for misfires. And although it feels like it, the juddering of the vehicle is not caused by misfires. We have seen this many times before, and it's caused by contaminated oil in the clutch for the four-wheel drive system. And this affects the amount of torque that's being sent towards the rear axle. Now, the juddering of that clutch almost feels exactly the same as a misfire. Despite the heat, the wear of the clutch, and the condensation inside that four-wheel drive system, according to Audi, this is lifetime oil, and they don't give us an interval for when to change it. As mentioned in the bulletin, we advise the customer to drain the oil and do a visual inspection. And indeed, it was looking very, very nasty. The bulletin then tells you to replace the oil and to do a reset of the clutch in the four-wheel drive system and perform a test drive. After the test drive, the workshop reported back that the misfires are now totally gone, as we have seen many times before. Now, let's be honest, a case like this can be challenging for any technician without access to the right information or without the right experience. And therefore, we have created DDTSB. DDTSB contains information that is essential in a modern workshop, and it will save you time, money, and stress.